So my favorite part, how to stock a Chinese pantry. These are all items that I use and love a lot. So I'm gonna start with soy sauce, and soy sauce is such a, you need it for every Chinese uh, recipe pretty much. This is Kikoman. It's a pretty basic soy sauce. It's nothing really special, possibly not even Chinese. But uh, I like to make sure that the soy sauce doesn't really steal the show, so I start with a pretty like basic soy sauce. But you can use, there's so many different kinds. There's like thick dark soy sauce or super salty soy sauce. So just get acclimated with the type of soy sauce you're using because you'll be adding so many other flavors in that. Next we have Zinjiang vinegar. It's like a black vinegar. It's very strong, very tart. Got a little bit of a smokiness to it. It's very unique. I love to have this. Next, the Shaoxing vinegar. This is a kind of like a dry sherry, which you can substitute if uh, you're running low on this. But this is great for deglazing. It adds a little bit of that like dry taste to your dishes, so it kind of breaks up meat and other such flavors. Toasted sesame oil. This is great, nutty, beautifully like just smell. I love sautéing things in this or drizzling a little bit on, for instance, wonton soup once you're done. Next is sa cha, which is basically Chinese barbecue sauce. There's actually a couple of varieties of this. I've picked the one that says barbecue sauce. It's pretty easy to recognize. It's a little sweet, it's a little spicy. It's got like a great, like deep, gritty texture too. You can just ladle it over fish. Very popular, especially for hot pot. You'll see people using sa cha as the base and then adding a lot of different things on top of it. Next, I've got uh, white and black sesame seeds. These uh, taste a little different and obviously are very different colors. So use them when you want to like make something a little bit more interesting looking. Uh, Lao Gama is a old grandma chili oil. It's spicy. It's very, very good. I pretty much can eat a bottle of this. They have a lot of different varieties and their most famous one is their spicy black bean. But I personally love their peanuts and chili flakes one. It's really great since it's got like the nice nuttiness of whole peanuts. There's whole peanuts in there and then you get a little bit of the chili flakes and you get a little bit of that mouthfeel from the chili oil. Uh, next we have the Sichuan peppercorn. You guys are probably seen this before. These are little peppers from the prickly ash bush and they're just like a numbing spicy, kind of different from a regular uh, black or white peppercorn. And they're pretty hot in terms of, whoo, they kind of get you after a few minutes. So <laughs> use sparingly. And finally, some tapioca starch. This is a starch that you're gonna see when you go out and get Chinese food and you see that nice like clear and thick sauce. They use this to thicken sauces. They also dredge meat in this before you cook them to get that nice crispiness. We used it in the filling to keep the meat nice and moist. So tapioca starch. And that's it. These are some great things to have if you want to stock a Chinese pantry.